Hello there, my beautiful thinking people, you. Uh oh. It's wonderful to be back here with you all on Advocation X, but I'd like to ask you to do me a big, big favor. Let's help spread the word to more and more and more people. Lots of views. Unfortunately, it's not getting out to enough people. Hit the like button, subscribe, become a member. Let's push this out to way more people than are getting to see it so far. And a lot of you people that are watching and watching regularly, you're not subscribing and you're not hitting the like button. Yes, some of you are and I appreciate every subscriber and everyone who hits that like button and everyone who watches the video. It would just be so much nicer if we could move ourselves up in the algorithm by getting more subscribers and more likes. So let's move on it folks share this video with everybody you know let's get us moving we got tons of videos on this platform they're separated by playlists if you know somebody who's maybe a little sensitive to one topic or another steer them towards another playlist i have some incredible super important stuff to go over today now please don't get me wrong don't take this as political. I am one who is apolitical. I do not support one party over any other. I do not support one politician over any others. I listen to what they have to say and offer. I listen to their track record. I like to see the roadblocks in their way. And I'll make a decision based on what I actually hear and see. No, this is not a political video at all actually but i just want you to know that i don't lean any which way or the other you can say i am an absolute independent so what's my topic today uncle thompson i know you all have an uncle thompson i have an uncle thompson we all have uncle thompson's but i want to point it out more directly do you remember way back in the day when they used to call out uncle tom's do you know what an Uncle Tom was? Does anybody know what an Uncle Tom was? It, it is argued that it is possibly a misconstrued um, scenario from the past. That Uncle Tom actually wasn't the, the bad one in the scenario. But let me tell you about Uncle Thompson. Not Uncle Tom. Uncle Thompson. Uncle Thompson is that person who backs you till your nose bleeds. Uncle Thompson is that one who, when you're sitting down with him, agrees with everything you say. And then when he walks out the door, he totally trashes you to everyone he sees. Uncle Thompson is the one who watches his kids struggle and secretly laughs at them. Not to build character, just because he finds humor in the fact that they're incapable. Uncle Thompson is the person we all need to cherish. I know that sounds a little bit counterproductive, right? Without Uncle Thompson, we would not have the drive and ambition that we have. Because some of us are spurred on by Uncle Thompson's. We are made to look at ourselves closely and say, wait a second, no, 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 they're wrong, I'm right, I'm moving forward, and I'm gonna move forward with even more vigor than I did before. That's what Uncle Thompson's do for all of us. Now, you can find a female version of Uncle Thompson, and I'm sure you all have one of those too, or several, or many. Some of you, it's the majority of the people in your lives. You sometimes, though, don't want to recognize that because then it kind of makes you have to realize that the people you've been holding up and being kind to all your life sometimes aren't that kind at all. Sometimes they're just people who take and take and take and take. Now, don't get me wrong, once again, takers are a necessary part of our lives. Why? Because how could you ever get joy in giving if there were no takers? Am I making any sense so far? Look around your life right now I want you to pick out at least 10 or 15 Uncle Thompsons in your midst. I know you can do it. So please, 
do so and then wonder what's their motives and are other people around you sharing the same motives but just not being transparent at this moment and here wait a second let me premise this with this or actually suffix this with this do not allow this to cause division among you what I'm doing is opening your eyes to the fact that there are a lot of people around you who don't have your best interest at heart. That doesn't mean they're not good for your life. They are good for your life. They will sharpen your skills. They will bring you around to a spot where you will be more powerful than ever before. They're necessary. I tell people this all the time. There would be no good people if there were no evil people, who are you going to measure your good people against? Or we could make that simpler. If there was no death, there would be no preservation of life. How that death comes about, as we know in our present world, can come about in many different forms, in many different ways, by many different sources. We need it in order to make us stronger. People are gathering together now and galvanizing against ideas that otherwise they would have just sat back and did nothing on. So here's my question to you. When you meet your maker, and I'm not going to name your maker because your maker is yours, will you be able to look at your maker and say you did your best? Will you be able to say that you were on the right side of history, that you stood up when you should have and you sat down? when it was appropriate? Or are you going to be one of those who says, look, I just didn't want to get involved. I, I, I didn't want to complicate my life. I had my own family to think about. Most of the people who have guided their lives in that way, in our past histories, have found out the hard way that once it comes down to it, they've hurt their entire existence by not standing up for those around them. Don't be an Uncle Thompson or an Auntie Thompson, whatever you want to call it. Don't be one of those. Stand up. Stand up. Your people need you. Stand up. And don't be on the wrong side of history. Don't be on the wrong side of your higher power. Stand up up. You can do it. I know you can. I'm sure you've noticed lately that many people in the past were on the wrong side of history. And I'm talking about current past. I'm not talking about like history past. I'm talking about in your lifetime past. I'm talking about the Supreme Court of Canada overturning somebody's invoking of the Emergency Act. If you don't think that those people who back that play are going to face their maker on the wrong side of history, on the wrong side of their maker, you are fooling yourself. Hold yourself up. Oh, no, we're not supposed to do this, but just for game's sake, imagine that you are the maker and you're going to interview each of your subjects to admit them into the Hall of Fame. Do you get a pass or do you get cast down? Just do it that way. Look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, do you get a pass or do you get a cast? I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot of people in my midst, a lot of people in my midst who I think really need to do that exercise. Because when you get the shock of your life or your death, and that shock is shown right in your face, this is what you were like. This is who you were. This is what you didn't do in my honor. This is what you did do in the honor of money or pride or recognition. Folks, Listen, I love you all. Good, bad, or indifferent. It doesn't really matter to me 
whether or not I extend love your way. What matters to me is whether or not I like your actions as well. That's very important to me because I like to surround myself with people that I can trust, people that I believe in, people that I can see in their eyes, they're authentic, sincere, caring people. That doesn't mean the rest of you are not loved. I love you all. That doesn't mean the rest of you are not necessary. You're needed. Because even those who are on the far end of the spectrum have value to all of us. You teach us lessons that we really need to learn. So anyways, Uncle Thompson, Auntie Thompson, get this message. Look in the mirror. Do something about what you see in that mirror. Fix it. Change. Try your best. It doesn't mean anybody has to be perfect. It just means you have to try. It just means you have to step up. It just means you have to stand up. And not for yourself all the time. Because that would just be total selfishness. Sometimes you have to stick yourself out there for others. It saddens me to bring this to you. It really does. It's not something I ever really wanted to discuss openly with other people. I know who I surround myself with. And I know who you are. I don't know why I have that ability to see who you are. But I've always seemed to have had that ability. If you notice that when you see me, there's a sincere, delightful smile on my face as I move towards you and usually extend my arms, usually, not always. But yeah, I'm a huggy kind of person. If that's not me with you, maybe you want to look in that mirror and find out why. Because I don't hate anybody. I don't. My old enemies never hated them. I just knew they were my enemies, and I acted accordingly. Yeah, sometimes I got into disagreements with them. Some of those disagreements didn't end well for some of us. But I can tell you this, I still love you. Because in my life growing up, having a problem with somebody is a now thing. It's not a hold a grudge thing. It's not a take it to your grave thing. It's a get it out, get it over with, and get back to life. So I'm asking you, get it out, get it over with, and get back to living a good life where you can look in that mirror every day and at least say, I got a pass today. I got a pass today. I'm not perfect, but I'm going to recognize my imperfections and I'm going to get a pass today. And I'm going to try for a pass tomorrow. Okay? Folks, sorry to beleaguer this, but it is a very, very emotional topic. It's something that just eats at my core every day. And I see the same actions every day, over and over again. And now I figured I'd better get it out. So once again, please, hit that like button. Subscribe. Share these videos. Make sure we get a chance to get heard by more and more and more people so that we can get the news out there. We can wake some people up. We can get people just a little nicer than they used to be. And that's all of us. Every day we can improve. If you endeavor to improve every day, you are going to be in our good books. So, hit the like, share, subscribe, become a member. Let's help move us forward. And I also want you to stay safe, healthy, and as happy as humanly possible. Until next time, I love you all.